All right, we're going to work on standard form linear equation word problems. So here's problem one. You want to earn $1,000 teaching children how to swim. You earn $10 per hour for individual instruction and $25 per hour for instructing groups. Write an equation in standard form that models the possible combinations of instruction. So standard form as a review was AX plus BY equals C. That's the form we wanted in. So we're going to make, um, let X equal individual instruction and we'll let Y equal groups, instructing groups. So the total in the problem is 1,000. So our C value there will be 1,000. So we'll write the equation. $10 times individual lessons, so 10X plus 25 times the groups that you instruct. So 25Y should equal 1,000. So that would be part A. 10X plus 25Y equals 1,000, where X was individual, and Y are the group lessons that you teach. Okay, now it says graph the equation down here. So I'm gonna slide this down a little so we can see it. So that's the equation we're using. And last time we worked on graphing standard form equations using their intercepts. So to find the x-intercept, we could cover y up and solve. So we would just be dividing by 10. And 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. So the x-intercept would be 100. To find the y-intercept, we cover y up and solve, so we would divide by 25 here. All right, so that would be um, 1,000 divided by uh, 25, so that would be 40. So a y-intercept is 40. So we have our two um, intercepts. So what we're going to do, we have a 10 by 10 grid here, so we'll let at each box be 10. So the y-intercept would be one, two, three, four up. So that's at 40. And then the x-intercept would be at box 10 because 10 times 10 is 100, so 100 here. And then we could graph our line in like this. All right, so that, that would be the line with the y-intercept at 40, x-intercept at 100. All right, now it says list several possible combinations. So last time we learned, I need to rewrite the equation since I scribbled it out, 10x plus 25y equals 1,000. We learned that the slope in standard form was equal to the opposite of the a value divided by the b value from standard form. So for us, that would be the opposite of 10 over 25, which would reduce to negative 2 fifths. So our slope here is negative two-fifths. So to find possible combinations, scroll that down a little bit to right here. To find possible combinations, we could start with the in intercepts. So we'll just start with the y-intercept. So you could teach um, zero individual lessons and 40 group lessons. Then we could use our the concept of slope to find some additional. So our slope says, the y should go down two and the x should go right five, so up by five. So the y would go down two, so that would be 38, and the x should go up five, so that would be five. So from zero to five, the x went up five. From 40 to 38, the y didn't, went down two. So we can actually use our slope to help get perfect ordered pairs on this graph. So again, let's do it one more time and we'll call that good. So down two, that would take us to 36 for y. And then right five, we're at five, go right five again. So that takes us to 10. So here are three combinations. And earlier, scrolling back up, we said that x was individual lessons right here and y was group lessons. So that's what our ordered pairs stand for. So zero individual, 40 group, five individual, 38 group, 10 individual, 36 group, would all be combinations. And then we can go ahead while we're at it and list the x-intercept, which would be 100 individual lessons and zero group lessons. All right, so that's it for that one.
All right, continuing with our standard form word problems. Problem two says t-shirts at a flea market cost $4.50 each and shorts cost $6 each. You have enough money to buy exactly 12 t-shirts and nine pairs of shorts. Write an equation in standard form that models the possible combinations of t-shirts and shorts. So we need to identify the two things we're talking about. We're talking about shorts here. Uh, sorry, we're talking about t-shirts here and shorts here. So we'll set it up this way. We'll let x equal t-shirts and we'll let y equal shorts. Okay, now the total is a little more difficult in this problem. They don't exactly tell us, but we can figure it out. If t-shirts are 450 each and I can buy 12 of them, then that would be 12 times 450 plus the pairs of shorts, I, I can buy nine of them and they're $6 each, so add that total. So let's uh, start our equation. It would be 4.5x plus 6y equals, and we'll get the total right now, so let's bring the calculator over and we'll just do that. So 4.5 times 12, 4.5 times 12 plus, whoops, let's do that again, 4.5 times 12, and we're adding to that 6 times 9, so altogether $108 is the total that we have to spend, so all of that has to equal 108 total dollars, so that they didn't give us our total direct. We had to uh, work that out. But this would be our equation right here. So next it says graph the equation. I'm going to slide this down a little for us so we can see it. All right, graph it. We're going to use our intercepts. So to find the x-intercept, we set y to 0, so basically cover it up and solve. So we would have 4.5x equals 108 divided by 4.5 divided by 4.5 so x equals the x-intercept equals I don't want to do that in my head so we're going to do it this way 108 divided by 4.5 gives us 24 so the x-intercept is 24 to find the y-intercept we set x to 0 so basically cover it up and solve for y so 6y equals 108, so divide by 6. So we get a y-intercept equal to 108 divided by 6. 108 divided by 6, 18. So y-intercept is 18. And uh, x-intercept is 24. So this scale of this grid makes it a little difficult. Uh, so what I need to do is look at uh, and there's more than one way to do this, but here's what we're going to do now. I need to look at 18 and 24 and think of numbers that both of uh, them are divisible by. And 3 works, so I'm going to use 3. So each grid is going to be 3. We just need to label the first one, and that implies that the rest of them are 3. So the y-intercept is at 18, so that would be uh, 6 times 3 is 18, so I need to go up 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right there, that's 18. That's my y-intercept. My x-intercept is 24, and um, 24 divided by 3 is 8, so I need to go 8 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there is my x-intercept at 24. We can graph our line in there, just like this. Okay, several combinations, so the same way we did it last time. We can start, for example, with the y-intercept was 0, 18. So that would be based on what we set up here. X is t-shirts, so 0 t-shirts, 18 pairs of shorts. All right, to find the next one, well, let's go ahead and list our x-intercept. So that would be 24 t-shirts, 0 pairs of shorts. But we want some more. So we can find the slope. Remember, slope from standard form is equal to the opposite of the a value divided by the b value. So for us, that's the opposite of 4.5 divided by 6. All 
right? So that's a, we'll reduce that with our calculator. We're using our calculator here. So 0 0.75, that's 3 fourths negative. So negative 3 fourths. We had this negative we had to distribute in. So in other words, we can use the concept of slope to help us identify more ordered pairs. So from one ordered pair to the next, my y goes down 3 and my x goes up by 4. Down 3, right 4. That's what slope means. So if I decrease my y by 3, that would take it to 15. It was at 18. And I increase my x by 4 from 0. Right 4 takes me to positive 4. Do the same thing one more time and we'll call it good. So down 3 for my y, that would be 12. And up 4 for my x would be positive 8. All right, so let's check two of these real quick. I'm going to show you how you can do this in your calculator to check this. So our equation was uh, 4.5x plus 6y should equal 108. So if that's true, uh, that would mean that, scroll this up a little bit, that would mean that, uh, let's test this point right here. So 4.5 times 4 plus 6 oops, times 15 should equal 108. And it does. So that point right here, this point right here works. Now let's try 8 comma 12. So that should mean that 4.5 times 8 plus 12 pardon me, 6 times 12 should equal 108 as well, and it does. So we know that these points are correct, and we could test any of these points and make sure that our those points work on our line.